on today's Cooking with Drag Queens Tofu Pod Thai with watercress and almonds. Joining us is Trixie Mattel, whose over-the-top doll-like makeup has won the hearts of fans of RuPaul's Drag Race. Get very aggressive. It's also like you're, you know, go shake it up and down. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is Mark. He likes to cook. This is his husband, Fausto. He loves to eat. For years on Feast of Fun, they have been hanging out with the fiercest of queens. The people are still hungry for more, so it's time to set this kitchen on fire. Cooking with Drag Queens is made possible because of fabulous people just like you. Thank you. All the recipes featured on the series are available in our Season 1 cookbook. Check out our cookbook, t-shirts, aprons, tote bags, and more at our store. Feastoffun.com slash store. Most people's introduction to Thai cuisine is with the dish called Pad Thai. Our guest today is a vegetarian. <laughs> so joining us is Trixie Mattel, the fabulous drag queen from Wisconsin, who has pulled on the heartstrings of the fans of RuPaul's Drag Race and is the front runner for season seven. My name is Brian Furkis and I play Trixie Mattel and I am Milwaukee's premier piss queen. Basically what I do is I put on dresses and wigs and pretend to be a life-size plastic person. You love it or you hate it. She's dressed as a broken Trixie Mattel. That's redundant. Well, I think what people don't get is uh, everything is a choice and it's a conscious choice. If my makeup looks extreme, it's on purpose. And if my lip sync is really over the top and funny, it's on purpose. In my family, none of us cook because none of us know how. So I would say if anyone cooks, it would be like Marie Callender or like Jimmy John's. I am an avid vegetarian. I've been a vegetarian since I was nine. I'm an early adopter. There's so much besides me. There's pasta, candy. Uh... Welcome, Trixie. Hi. Hi, Hi guys. Hi. Hello. Mm. You Don't look mess up wonderful. the makeup. You look like you're ready for the beach at Phuket. Well, in we're in Illinois and it's December, but I thought <laughs> it's beach time anywhere. So. so now, when did you become a vegetarian? When I was nine. I used to watch. Um, E.B. White Charlotte's Web every day. Aww. And for me to eat basically the Wilbur of any animal type, it was just like I couldn't do it. We're gonna start off by making the tofu, and a lot of people actually don't know how to make tofu properly. Really Have bad. a bite. No. <laughs> get your tofu in a Tupperware container, and you're gonna get three uh, tablespoons of curry powder, just regular curry powder. Crushed up yellow eyeshadow. And three tablespoons of fish sauce, three tablespoons of soy sauce. And so you're gonna let that marinate uh, for at least an hour or overnight when there's some that we actually made. And ahead of time, you want to get some water boiling and uh, throw a little bit of salt water on it. So you're gonna take the tongs here and you're gonna put it into your boiling water. It really takes no time at all for this to react so you're almost like water. blanching the tofu. Yeah, it's very quickly. It's like a minute. And then you just kind of squeeze it a little bit. And then all Ooh, that Ooh, it leaves the imprint of the paper towel. Out. Really nice and So enjoyable. feel that. Ooh, it feels like an armadillo. <laughs> so you're gonna pan fry this in a nonstick pan for about three minutes on each side. Yeah. And while we're frying up the tofu, we're gonna make the pad thai sauce, which we want to make ahead of time. Mm -hmm. In there, you're gonna take a pot, and you're gonna throw in half a cup of white sugar, half a cup of tamarind concentrate, and then you're gonna throw in your 
palm okay. sugar. But you have to chop this up before you put it in there or else it just won't dissolve. So the smaller the pieces you can get it, the better. You're good with that knife. Thank you. Have I'm... you killed someone? And now, no. Trixie, why don't you do this? Never too okay. your half a cup of fish sauce. Yeah, that. This? Yeah. Yes. Perfect. So pour that in there. And then the fish sauce is actually made from anchovies. Is this a half cup? Uh-huh. Okay. And you just uh, you get very aggressive. It's also like you're, you know, go shake it up and down. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So this is my drag laboratory. This is where I make stuff. Um, sewing machine, I sew most of my own costumes. That's all makeup in the corner, which is kind of obscene. <laughs> sewing for dummies. <laughs> um, and it worked, now I can sew, so get your copy. I was at the Rocky Horror Picture Show when I first started doing drag, and I used to do the science fiction double feature, the lips in the beginning, and there it was just me every month trying on new looks and doing whatever I wanted. Like I knew I wanted to be kind of valley girl and blonde, and when I added the layer of Mattel and added the kind of like life-size doll, it was something that resonated with me, it started to resonate with audiences more, and it just became like a lot more fun. I feel like Barbie is one of the like cultural things that's perceived as like so feminine, and it's actually still so far removed moved from what real, real women are like. And I just like that. I don't know, I like, um, I feel drawn to that. My contribution is so, done. Throw that You're welcome. There. Throw that in there. Here? And so then we'll put this on the stove for about okay. 10 minutes. It's like we work at like an off-brand bootleg noodles company. So this actually will cook pretty quickly. So three, three minutes on each side. That looks great. So we're taking some paper towels here and getting ready to blot our tofu that's gonna be done. So wait, it's why- It's already done. So you just like cook the outside of it? Yeah. Because uh, as a vegetarian, one of my favorite things about tofu is it adds texture to what you're eating. Mm. Yeah. Because most of the time everything has the same texture mm. and meat has texture that you can't get from like vegetables and shit. Well, this is not quite like a, a steak or a piece of chicken, but I think of it as kind of a, an interesting cheese. So the next step you're gonna be doing is you're gonna Blot your tofu, and then you want to cut it into small pieces, so you're going to throw that into your pad thai mm. stir fry. So while you're doing that, we're going to get a bowl of hot water, and we're going to soak our noodle dishes with just warm tap water. You're going to throw about half the package, or I just like to use like the entire package so you have enough for you and your friends. So we're going to let this soak over here, and we're going to get all our ingredients ready for our stir fry. We can get our oil, our chopped onion. You want a clove of garlic chopped up, some minced ginger, some cilantro, eggs, and I almonds, recognize eggs. And some uh, lemon wedges. Have some tofu. There you go. <laughs> mm. I like how wide you opened your mouth. You're like, well, I need to see the money first. We are on our way to the new Now Next Awards um, being presented at uh, one of my local bars, so I'm really excited. The new Now Next Awards is when Logo gives people awards for like the biggest lisp, she had the biggest sun hat on. It's very like, very gay. Like, I'm just like so excited for today to happen. I'm so excited to see everything and see who's gonna be on season seven of Drag Race and you know, hang out with my friends and celebrate and it's gonna be great. This is my friend Alex. Say hi. Uh, <laughs> hi. Oh, uh, Alex did something, some would say is stupid, but I would say is novel. I got a tattoo the other day. Yes. <laughs> Trixie is my favorite performer that I've ever got to see live. And um, so I thought that it would probably be appropriate to get something tattooed on my body. Forever. Yeah. Forever. Forever. <laughs> Regardless of if she ends up on Drag Race or not, um, I got that tattoo without even thinking about that. It's time to set this kitchen on fire. Boom, don't eyebrows burned up. Don't fuck it up, girl. <laughs> I won't. So let's put some, who do you think I am? Some uh, oil into the pan. This thing heats up pretty fast. I know, it goes crazy. And you're gonna wanna put your onions in first. Sizzle that wok. Yeah. yeah. We want to get them caramelized. And you can see kind of how the, the onions are going from white to kind of a 
a, a, a translucent color, and they're kind of getting burned on the edges. So what we want to do is throw in a little bit of water into the pan to deglaze it. So now we deglaze the pan. We want to throw in our ginger. Mm. And not so much. What is that? What, half? Yeah. And throw in, um, typically we actually wanted to put the red curry into the uh, the sauce. Oh, wow. You want, woohoo, not so much. That's oh, for Jeez, a Jeez, Mark. Sauce. How about this much? You never put that much curry okay, in. Okay, so Everyone we just put red that. curry sauce. This Sh is a... Shrimp paste. Shrimp paste. Oh my oh, god. Yeah. Oh my god. Fish sauce. Fish sauce everywhere. Gia Gunn, are you okay? I'm gonna throw in about half of the noodle package. Oh my god, it looks like plastic. So this is about seven ounces of that. And Mark, you're gonna stir that. That looks awesome. And you're gonna put about a third of the cup of your pod thai sauce. showed my face on the teaser for uh, RuPaul's Best Friend Race season seven. Um, it was really weird. I still don't feel like, I don't feel like I saw it. I feel like I need to see it again. Uh, but it was, it was good, it was weird. I wanna say thank you guys for coming. Clap to everyone, clap, 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 clap. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I have to point out, didn't that girl look almost exactly like me? It was eerie. <laughs> So I have to tell you guys really quick, keep it brief, because it's just drag and it's not that serious. But for me to come up and do drag and have everybody tell me I'm too fucking weird and everything I do is, everything I do is stupid and um, you know, if I looked a little softer and I did more like mainstream performances, then I would be able to do things in drag and um, I got to do that, so. Um. Yeah. Shots? Shots! Yeah. Sunday, I'm on a fucking drag race. Drink. I feel so good. I, feel, I didn't. It didn't feel like it was gonna be a big deal, and then I saw it up there, and it was me, and it was like, it was, it was a fucking drag race. I'm gonna fucking get home. <laughs> I'm gonna jump in the shower and turn off my social media and just get in bed with my boyfriend and just like. Probably cry. I could cry a lot. So uh, we're gonna take this shot. We're gonna get back to this award show and see all the other queens this season are fucking good. Okay, I'm like one of fucking cool people. So I can't wait for us all to watch it together. One, two, three. Oh, is this Jack? That's fucking cruel. <laughs> Trixie, um, yeah. I know that we can't really reveal too much about what's happening on RuPaul's Drag Race, but uh, okay, the winner is Shangela. Okay, <laughs> now you know. Obviously, they're gonna have like a uh, audience decision on who the the win ultimate winner is gonna be. Oh, is that yeah. how that's or gonna work this year? Well, that's, that's what they no. did last year. Did so we they? don't really know what's gonna happen. Well, this last year. year, I believe last year, if I remember correctly, you could go online and like tweet or you know your favorite. But ultimately, the decision is RuPaul's. Yeah, you never know. What was up going on through your mind when you were when they actually announced that you were gonna be on season seven? I was screaming and crying. Screaming and crying. How did your boyfriend react to that? He wasn't home, but my roommate was home. And he, I was like, all right, get the fuck out of here because of this. I had my call and he calls me. They call me and they say, you know, you're on. They said, have you been to California? I said, no. And they said, well, pack your bags because you're on season of Drag Race. And I just start screaming and I couldn't believe it. And I kept saying they were liars. And then I kept saying that they were lying to me, and then I believed them, and then I was crying, and then I immediately started sewing, because I was like, I need to get my shit together. These noodles are nice and soft, and you throw in your watercraft, your bean sprouts, and you push everything to the side, and you crack an egg on the bottom. You are, you are an ovotarian, right? Lacto-ovo, yep. Oh, and throw in that tofu in there. Oh, yeah. Throw that in, and I'm gonna pull these out, and you wanna, like, Arrange it nicely on a plate. Woo! So try that there. Do people are gonna get shirts to say, I saw Trixie Mattel eat pad thai and I fucking <laughs> Well, let's up. stare at her while she eats. <sighs> How was it? It tastes like you guys made it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Trixie Mattel, we have a present for you. <gasps> oh my God. 
So we got you some face pans mask. of the weirdest nut face cups mask. I've ever seen. These are breathing. sickening. We saw them at the Asian market when we were buying other stuff and they were pink, so we're like, <laughs> we must. That's gonna be real personal when I'm taking pictures of fans and I have a face mask on. <laughs> so, like, so this is for you. And oh this my is enough God. to give to all your fans. We can also do some kind of like sickening, like, oh the, yes. You know, yeah. what have you. Last but not least, we'd also like to present Thank you, you. Mm -hmm. a medal of honor. <laughs> Star performer. Star performer. Oh, I don't deserve that. Here we go. Ugh. Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> to yeah. Trixie Mattel for being Thank a you. real doll who pulled on our heartstrings and made us fall in love. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining us. And I want to send a message to people out there. If you can't cook for yourself, how the hell are you going to cook for somebody else? Can I get a bon appetit? Bon appetit! <laughs> bon appetit! Yay! Yeah. Until recently, everything has always been like, you're too weird to do drag, and you're, you could be better at drag if you just like softened it, if you did a little more like top 40 music, you know, it, that's what I've always gotten. And so to be in a position where I might get like celebrated because I'm offbeat, it's just like, it's not even, because to me it's not offbeat. I'm just pulling things on my brain that I like. And for someone to reach in and say like, I like what you're doing is great. And if it makes other people look at it from a different angle, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, I'm really excited.